Welcome back. Funerals for the officers killed in that tragic Dallas shooting last week set to begin today. Dagan's on headlines this morning. Dagan, over to you. Good morning, Maria. That's right. Funerals for three of the slain officers, Lauren Ahrens, Michael Smith, and Brent Thompson, are set to be held later today near Dallas. Services for Officer Michael Kroll and Patrick Zamaripa are planned for Friday and Saturday, respectively. The victims were honored at a memorial service attended by both President Obama and former President George W. Bush yesterday. Both presidents spoke about the tragedy surrounding the events. I understand how Americans are feeling, but Dallas, I'm here to say we must reject such despair. I'm here to insist that we are not as divided as we seem. We know there is evil in this world. That's why we need police departments. None of us were prepared or could be prepared for an ambush by hatred and malice. The shock of this evil still has not faded. At our best, we know we have one country, one future, one destiny. We do not want the unity of grief, nor we want the unity of fear. We want the unity of hope, affection, and high purpose. Meantime, the police department in Austin, Texas, on high alert after threats were made against its officers. The department is working to determine whether the specific threats, which were made on social media, are credible. More trouble for Obamacare. New Mexico Health Connections is set to become the latest insurer to file suit against the Obama administration over the Affordable Care Act. The group claims that it has been overbilled and that it has not received the payments it was promised from the federal government. And hack a Jeep, get paid. Fiat Chrysler offering up to $1,500 if you can find bugs or vulnerabilities in its vehicle software. The bug bounty program comes just over a year after hackers were able to gain remote access to the company's Jeep Grand Cherokee. Maria, the move highlights a growing concern for the industry as we advance the technology in these vehicles. They are not hack proof. This is something you see tech companies do very often, not Apple, but other ones are paying people if they discover hacks, if they're able to hack into these systems and yeah. discover bugs. I, I am surprised at that. It, it's funny. I wonder they, if you could make a living on it. That they, that they would pay you just to, uh, but you know, I guess it's been effective. Absolutely. Hey, let's check futures. We got a uh, market that has been on fire recently after the Dow ended its dry spell. Hit a record high yesterday. As you can see, 18,277 last trade on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We're going to check markets in your money when we come back. How do you cash in on this climb? 